everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa with OurGreyHouse.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make painted rocks. The idea of painted rocks is not new and it's not a hard concept. You basically need rocks and paint and that's it. But I just wanted to use this video as an encouragement to you. If you have the materials handy and close by, especially during this time of like social distancing, self quarantining, isolation, that type of thing, that it might be a fun idea to spread some joy in your neighborhood. And y'all, I still have not cut my hair. I'm looking at myself in the video and I'm like, you need to cut your hair. But anyway, we're social distancing, aren't we? So speaking of that, I know that the idea of painted rocks is not a new one. All you basically need is rocks and some paint pens or some paint. So it's not like I'm coming up with some revolutionary idea or anything like that, but I just wanted to use this video as an encouragement to you to use the things that you have in your home already or close by that you can like turn into something that might be an encouragement for someone else. So in my case, what I'm doing is I have these river rocks and I've had them for years and I've had like, oh, I'm gonna make, oh, I'm gonna make, and I never made any of those things. And so I thought to myself, well, now that we're in the time of, you know, social distancing, self-quarantining, self-isolation, all that kind of stuff, what can I do to maybe make an impact in a positive way on my community? So I thought, I'm gonna paint some rocks, I'm gonna hide them out in the community, right over here on the square by my house, and hopefully someone will go, aw, when they see it and maybe bring a smile to their face. So um, some examples of rocks that I've done, I've done a bunch just with like this, just with the heart on it. And I pre-painted all the rocks white because like I said, I was gonna do another project with it, never did it. So anyway, most of the rocks are white. And then um, you can write anything you want on it. This one says joy. This one has a B. I'm not an artist, <laughs> but it has a B and it says, be kind, get it? Yeah. And then this one just says love. This is one of my favorites and I'll probably be doing another one for you guys today, but it, it looks like notebook paper and it says be kind to one another. So, um, like I said, all you need is rocks and it doesn't even have to be big rocks. I happen to have some big rocks left, but I have a lot of little small ones too. I just drew a heart on those and I'm just gonna plant them around the neighborhood. So I think it's gonna be fun. So all you need to get started on the project is a river rock. The bigger the rock, the better, but you really can be creative with some of the smaller ones. And you need some paint pens. So here are some of the rocks that I have made. And like I said, I'm no artist, but I'm trying. And on the back of the rocks, I just put OGH for our gray house. I'm gonna be drawing another one of those notebook paper looking ones not using a ruler or anything, I'm just... Next, I'm gonna add a line. Did I, oh, I smeared it a little bit. Gosh darn it. See, now it looks like notebook paper. Here's the finished product and if I have to go out to get some essentials like groceries or something like that, I'll take some rocks with me and just kind of hide them in plain sight if you will and hopefully someone will find them and it'll bring a smile to their face. Thanks y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and I encourage you to share it with your friends. Maybe you'll inspire them to create something beautiful today. And don't forget, if you wanna follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Great House but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.